has uh, a guardsman uh, with a halberd. But um, I think as you as you approach it, um, uh, give, give me a give me a perception. Oh shit! Throwing the pad over. Um, so you approach the statue, um, or, or maybe just uh, approach the middle of the room, and you and you happen to spot um something, and like, under closer scrutiny, um, you see uh, uh it seems quite familiar to, which is a, a tower shield with a crumpled rose. And um, red on the guardsman. On, uh, he yeah, he has on on the um, on his like tabard that he's wearing. Um, that's em- emblazed on the tabard. On the statue. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, who who's here? Like, how do they look? Are they worshippers um, or? Like it, it look there looks to be three worshippers sat at the pews and much further at the back, um, behind this little section, um there is uh, a, a minister basically who um is is sorting out some uh some new thing. There's there's um somewhat that um is like quite obvious by now is that the this particular religion is very militant and um there is like a like a weapons rack of various martial arms that he's like returning some weapons to. Sword and shield that you can see. Hmm. He hasn't noticed you enter yet. I want to sit down on the pews next to the three Worshippers. Okay. And well, first of all, I'll I'll pray for a, a brief moment because <laughs> mm-hmm. that's what you do when you enter a holy house. What would what would your sta- your standard prayer be? Well, I don't have words for it currently, but I guess it's well, like would, would it not be mental? I guess, just like he's he's going to kneel down and offer his weapon to practically the air, as I don't know, as a sign of uh, mm-hmm. respect. Yeah. Okay. It's a sign of uh, yeah, respect and subordination. I guess. Mhm. And then again, I sit down, and well, first of all, I'll I'll look towards them if they, you know, are, or rather, if they want to speak to me. Actually, okay. maybe they're in a really intense prayer session and they don't have, you know, they they, <clears throat> they haven't stopped praying since you came in. Maybe you've been like doing it for being been here for a couple minutes. Maybe uh, they or how long you've been, and they haven't stopped praying since. Um, Devout, jeez. But I think as you look at them, uh, you hear someone come through the door behind you. Um, do you do you look to us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so eager. Uh, okay. So I killed you them. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I spear them in the heart. I sift wood. Yeah. So. You look behind you, and um, out, out the corner of your eye, you uh, glance a very familiar look, familiar looking form approaching. Uh, not familiar uh, in, as a person, but definitely the concept. You see a very well-armoured man, uh, drow, 
quite lithe looking, but wow. muscular. Um, and he has a uh, curved great sword on his back. I will show you the picture. Is it gonna go down? Oh, it's no, it's Victus. We need him because he's gonna go. I don't to think you could, Cinder... out, you could actually see that properly. He's, he's gonna be going. He's gonna be going to Cinder. He's wearing. Or... He's wearing padded. <laughs> check. He's wearing like a, a very padded chain. Um, one side of him seems more armored than the other. Uh, quite looks looks almost Oriental. Um, and his his tabard uh, bears the same uh, mark as you. As he as he strolls into the chapel and. Um, Take, take, he takes a seat next to you. He is a great club, Ben. Yep. Oh, but I don't know him. Came in for you? Uh, quite possibly not. But I do recognize his rank. Garb. As in, is he higher ranked or lower ranked? He's absolutely the sim- same rank as you, Nero. Oh. He is the same rank as you. He's a godsman then, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, hello. My name is Lazarus. Greetings. I have heard from the sheriff that he has recommended you to me. He didn't even say his name. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was his name? Neither did neither did neither you tell did. me his name? That's the question. Neither did Lazarus. <laughs> yeah, he just went, hello, my name's Lazarus. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean, like, to the sheriff. Oh, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, have you told me his name? Have I do I know his name? Uh, no, I don't know his name. Okay. Well, yes. What brings you here, down into the south, so far from home? Very slowly. It seems that whatever has been occurring down here, whatever foul plague has slowly been spreading into the north. Um, you remember how secure we had that the, the prison? Well, probably we weren't secure enough. Perhaps such a, such a t- long time of complacency rubbed off on us. Uh, there, there was a large incursion of the undead. It, for all intensive purposes, without support, managed to run through a whole wing of the prison. It flattened many of the cells, killed many of the prisoners in there. We were able to beat them back and destroy them eventually, burning their rotten carcasses, but well, needless to say, the enemy's coming from this direction. The warden decided that it will be beneficial now that we need less people there to send some of us here. There's been three of us that have been assigned to come down here into the mainland. The the plains, rather. Have you been to... split up? Yes. We were meant to split up. Oh, okay. We each, Individually, we are strong, but we decided that if we split up, we can gather parties of our own and carry on. But unfortunately, he sort of like, he sort of he frowns at that. He's like, Unfortunately, the people of Barkham have been less than cooperative. Well, uh, you can expect my full support. And I'm pretty sure I do have a small group of fellows. I'm pretty sure you've heard of them. I have. Uh, yeah, <laughs> might help. He, famous he, now. <laughs> Kieran was like, yes, we are that right now. He um he puts it he puts it he stretch outstretches his hand to you and says, Gasman Victus. Ah, nice to meet you, Victus. Most uh. <laughs> 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 rude Gasman ever. Nice to meet you, Victus. <laughs> but, uh, um, well, as you say that, uh, <laughs> I, you have been here longer than I, and as you say that, I'm, I assume that worshipping of Empress Sith is not a big thing in Barkham. No, unfortunately, down from the from the north, there's very little worship going on here. The in in the in the south, 
no one worships her in the north uh, from there's from the whole the whole area everyone does in the east you're lucky to get summer crest and death knell possibly uh, there's there's a decent concentration in Nuxvar, but once we get any lower than that no one and in the west they worship something else entirely something <laughs> that is quite frankly unclean well um at this point I, I point at the uh, at the tablet of the statue the mm-hmm. uh, he, he glances over what, what's it called sorry give me a sec at the order of the bloody roses symbol uh yes Victor's tell me have you have you ever heard of of a connection of the of the order and Oleron? Well, as a matter of fact, that I mean that particular statue is of Dalen Varnell, who was the commander of the Bloody Rose at the time. He's of course long since dead, but from what from what we know, Oleron did managed to sway some of the Buddy Rose to his side. But, as, as we both know, the Order is long since dead. As is Oleron. They, they, all, they all scattered and eventually died off of their own after that. They were hunted down as traitors. Or did they? Well, I, I met a young boy, a very peculiar young boy it seems and he had contact to a person called Igneel, Igneel, Igneel something like that and he he saw people wearing both symbols the symbol of Oleron and the symbol of the Bloody Rose at the same time and it was in the north like there was also like another symbol at that. And he's just like are you sure this boy is sane? <laughs> well, he was able of... only, only, a ma- only a madman would come to the north bearing the symbol of Oleron. He would get killed on sight. I Not know question. that. Is it, isn't it the far Yet. north where he came from? What? Sorry? Isn't Yeldon the north? Far, far from the north. It's still the north. It's in the mountains above above the north of this this map. But oh, right. so okay, but, but the but the great the grey cloaks. The paladins are also from that sort of area. Oh. Just so everyone doesn't forget, it was three symbols. Just so you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Oh, that I was, was, that was a gap in my about cool. to talk about that. Sorry. Fuck oh. you, Luke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I questioned it at the beginning too, but he was capable of drawing both symbols with ease, and he's, I don't know, nineteen years old, twenty maybe. So. He should not be able to do that. Yeah, he, uh, he like, he like, rubs his hand on his on his well shaven chin. He just he says like, "This is the case." Then the grey cloaks will need to check that out. I will send the courier back to back to the north. See if you can't get someone to check out this yarn rope. Well, yes, we're currently on our way to Tethys. Because the two symbols I talked about are connected to a third symbol. Uh, wait. <laughs> the symbol of the Jalafam Librum. Have you ever heard of them? He, ta- he takes a moment and uh, shakes his head. Um, I personally would not know that. However, from the way it sounds, it definitely sounds like something from the south. Yes. <laughs> well, we are on our way to Tethys to find out more about this. As I feel that this person, Igneel, who vanished, by the way, 
is somehow connected to all of this because they were hunting him or the boy. Mm. That's, I didn't want to leave them. Has Lucan outlined that it's that Igniel is a dragon nope. and not a? Oh. <laughs> you've made you've made you've said it often. I've like, given like oh he's got clues, wings, but... legs and. Yeah, but he's not. He's not. I've not. I, I never described him. Flies. Only to the old witch. Oh, okay. Okay. But well, we were all. We were all like stood next to you then. So you know. No. Well, not from when it was. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. It, you did it the only the person who was near we was Lazarus. It's whilst you were uh, going off into yeah, the woods with the, the nails and the, we the, the trees oh, and right. stuff. So the only person who would have been near is Lazarus, but I think he was tending to the prisoners whilst I was talking to the old witch. Yeah, I was under the oh, impression my character doesn't know any of that. Yeah. Like, he yeah. still yeah, thinks Igniel is a person. Considering that, you know, Lucan was on his shoulders and stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that good? <laughs> Are you shoving an whole curry worst? <laughs> no, it's a kid cat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Basically the same thing. <laughs> German kit cat equals curry vest. <laughs> I'll have a crunchy. Yeah, curry vest Kit Kat isn't Kit-Kat. the only sponsor for this show. Okay, so we need sponsors. Fudge. Anyway, food can be obtained from other places. You were talking about the chocolate brand. Cinderick Cinderick Ford, right? Cinderick. <laughs> <laughs> what <did> you get? <laughs> Shut up, Dom. It wasn't me. It was Adam. Yes. He's the one drawing on the map. Cinderbrick Fort is, is a large it's concentration a of people. It may people. be that you'll... It's going to be very tough because from the amount of people rising from there, it cannot be a pure coincidence. There is something or someone in or around Cinderbrick Fort which is raising the dead. They're not just raising on their own. Not not in those numbers. Okay. Well, it lies practically on our way. Because I'm confident that we will be able to assist you. If you, in... are, if you are free, we will set out in the morning. Uh, we, have, yeah. we have one thing to deal with still, Lars, remember? My character doesn't care. This is more important. Oh. <laughs> well, so I will make them ready for tomorrow, yes. He bows his head and thanks. I will leave you now. I have matters to attend to. And he, 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 before he leaves, he like draws his sword and offers it up in, in servitude before he, uh, for, for like 10 seconds before he sheaths it and, uh, Bows to you once again and leaves the chat. Okay. Um, then I will ask the minister about our refuge for the night. A place to sleep for the group. Because I can do that, because I'm an acolyte. Mm-hmm. We've already So found you ask him, place. you ask him, and he. Yeah, uh, but we get it for free. You ask him when he bows to you, and he says, for followers of Sif, anything. We can ha- give you free lodging and a meal in the morning. Hey. If this suits you. I wonder if I can persuade them to pay us. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> there is Very twenty well, there you. is twenty electrum in that in that pew. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We'll protect you all night for merely all of your electrum. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 Fuck you know. Uh alright, and I think we'll take a ten minute break there. I'm gonna go and scream into a pillow. Time to break. All right, break time. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> <laughs>